Hi. Apologies for the long delay since the last video. It's been absolutely hectic here, but should be able to return to a more normal video schedule soon. So today we're going to have one last look at this GVM H3. Uh, where we left off last time is that this system still wasn't performing as expected. We got at most about 40 watts out of this system, and about six of that was just running the electronics, so about 34 watts in the soldering iron. And I did have a quick look on the EEV blog forum where there was a thread about the GVM H3 and someone else mentioned they were getting a significantly higher power output, something like 60 or 70 watts. And we did have a look at the electronics last time, no problem with the electronics, but the supply voltage was quite low into the soldering iron and actually it was higher than expected into the electronics. And it looks like they may have mixed up the connectors when it was assembled at the factory. So this video is sponsored by PCBWay who offer a wide range of manufacturing services for your project including PCBs from very low cost prototype boards to more advanced PCBs all the way up to 60 layers and also with specialist FR4 materials. You can also get your rigid flex PCBs made if you want to make something a little bit more interesting. They also offer a wide range of PCB assembly options. That means getting your PCBs assembled with components on there on both sides of the board, whether they be surface mount or through hole parts. And they also offer some mechanical services such as CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication. And also when you're making something with a little bit higher volume, you can also get some injection molding done here. PCBWay also have a project section where you can share your own projects on their website so that other people can have those manufactured. So you can upload electronic designs, for example, a PCB like this, and people can get the PCB made at PCBWay. They can get the whole PCB assembled with components on there. And also if there are mechanical parts, they can also get the 3D printing or the metal parts made at PCBWay. So it's a really great way if you want to share your project to allow other people to make your boards with the minimum amount of hassle. So don't forget to visit pcbway.com. So this is where the error has crept in. They've accidentally switched the two secondary windings from the transformer. And this is a really good example of poor design for manufacture because they've used two identical connectors allowing this mistake to happen. And in fact, there's no reason for them to have done this. They could have just used a four pin connector and then there wouldn't be the error or they can use two different types of connector. But that's something to learn from if you're ever designing a device to be manufactured in more than prototype quantities. You want to make sure that the person assembling the device can't make this error because who knows how many of these devices are out there now with these two connectors mixed up and with poor performance. Right, it's all back together again, so let's power it up and see if it's made any difference. And let's bring it out of sleep mode. Oh, and that's much quicker than it was before. 62 watts, 67. So yeah, that's definitely behaving a little bit better. Still not the 80 watts that's advertised. Let's try a different cartridge in here. This time we've got a genuine JBC. And similar kind of power, about 60 watts or so. But anyway, that's a lot better than before. Let's see how it works for soldering now. So we've got a PCB here from PCB Way. Let's just see how it melts onto this high thermal demand PCB.
Right, so as you can see, that's significantly better at soldering. It handled those higher thermal demand pads and the coin test without as much issue. So it's amazing how much difference that additional 30 watts makes. But even at 60 watts, this is a little bit underpowered compared to the competition. If we look at some of the other units, uh, we're seeing power delivery in excess of 100 watts, which makes the heat up a lot quicker. And that leads me to one of the disadvantages of this unit. Now, when you put the handpiece in the cradle, it goes into sleep mode. And that sleep mode is adjustable in the menu. So we've got sleep here, press enter. And then, for example, you can set a timeout. So in this case, if we set this to on, after five seconds, then the system would go into sleep. But sleep on here is literally turning off the heater entirely. There's no reduced temperature mode. So on the other stations, what we normally see is like a sleep mode where it reduces the temperature to, say, 200 degrees C when you put the handpiece in the cradle, and then a actual standby mode that maybe after 10 minutes or so it physically turns off the heater. But this one only has the option to turn off the heater. And because it's a little bit underpowered at 60 watts, it takes a while to heat up. What you'd normally expect is by the time you've brought the handpiece to the solder joint, it's already heated up. But this one takes a little bit too long, I think, in my opinion. And the only option, really, is to keep it just running at full power for a lot longer, which is worse for the life of these JVC tips, which I do find the plating does seem to wear off quite quick on these JVC tips compared to some of the other stations. So that's just my thoughts on the GVM H3. Certainly is an option, but you would want to check that it has been assembled properly, which is something that you shouldn't really have to do. And I do wonder how many other devices are out there in the wild with those two connectors mixed up. So anyway, I hope you found the video useful. I will put a link to this item in the description down below should you wish to take a look at it on AliExpress. If you've got any thoughts or comments, don't forget to leave them in the comments section down below. And also thank you to our sponsor for this video, PCBWay. Don't forget to visit PCBWay.com if you want to get some PCBs made or some mechanical parts manufactured. So hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, thanks for watching.